Hi guys, uh, this is Kumar Gupta here again from HR Training Solutions. Uh, this video I've created it uh, just to answer one interview question. It doesn't take more than one minute. So uh, we we at Asia will provide the project supports and then you know we'll do implement the projects. And it's only for performance testing that we are dealing with in general. So we are experts in performance testing. So we started performance engineering, performance testing tools like Load Runner, JMeter, NeoLoad, uh, Gatling. And uh, we are into. Uh, we are also providing trainings on APM tools like Dynatrace, uh, New Relic, and all that. <coughs> Anyways, the interview question is uh, more like continuation to the previous video. So the question is: So the response times captured in Dynatrace and Load Runner. I mean, when they say Load Runner, it's analysis report. Okay, they are different. They are different for the same test. Okay, so you know you can connect the Dynatrace to the load runner so that the transactions response times can be captured on the Dynatrace as well. So if you look at the response times in Dynatrace and the and, the, and then the load runner for the same test, if you are looking at from the analysis report, the response times is something else. But if you go back and look at the Dynatrace, the response times is different. Why is this for? Why is this? So <coughs> in the previous interview question. Uh, you know the answer is there in the previous interview question. Actually, uh, the load runner in the in the summary report it doesn't capture response times for nor uh, it, it captures the response times for only past transactions. Whatever the response times it is there for failed transactions, it doesn't it doesn't capture. But Dynatrace on the other hand, Dynatrace on the other hand, uh, <coughs> it captures the response times uh, for both pass and fail. Okay for both pass and fail. So typically a failed transaction uh, might have response times which might be more than uh, the pass transaction or maybe less than the pass transaction. So if you're considering both pass and fail, obviously the whole metrics change, the minimum changes, maximum changes, uh, the 90 percentile changes, everything changes. So that's the difference guys. So Dynatrace captures both pass and fail but uh, LR captures only the pass transactions. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining.